Hi, hello students. Welcome to SPV Education World. Together, we create a better world. If you are not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, friend. Today, we're gonna see about ancient India history, which we have been seeing as a series. If you are interested in contributing to our education world, you can contribute through Paytm. Actually, this is for the development of our education world so that I can create a better team and take you in multilingual classes. And also, I'm planning for a bigger change. Okay, friends, with your all support, we will grow together. Okay, friends, kindly subscribe to our channel. Also, spread the word SPV Education World. Let the friends and family and many students let know and get benefited. Okay, friends, now we shall see. Already, we had seen the ancient India, how it had started. It started with prehistory, Paleolithic and Mesolithic and Neolithic and Chalcolithic and Bronze Age, all the things we had seen. And now we had come over here to see the Indus Valley Civilization. We must know everything about Indus Valley Civilization in detail. So please patiently stay together until we know all the details. While watching our playlist, kindly videos kindly watch our playlist don't bet, get, uh, get confused i'm also making color coding which means if i upload in english i will be color coding with green color thumbnail and if i upload in tamil i will be using blue like that for telugu and hindi also i'll be maintaining a clear cut thumbnail so that the students get uh, not get confused okay friends we shall see indus valley civilization and we come to the subject now here see friends which region it belongs to mostly to the north west india is indus valley civilization along the river of indus gagar and ganga we shall see in detail the period also here mentioned it is 2600 to 1900 bc where the hike which means the high end of indus valley civilizations evidence are found okay friends now we shall see here to the next slide during Harappan civilization or Indus Valley civilization, there are alternative civilization in world going on in parallel. What are the civilizations and also in which place and period they were going. In the same period, you can see that uh, Egypt civilization along the river Nile has been flourishing with most pleasant uh, trade and these things. And also the same thing. Uh, Mesopotamian civilization along the rivers Tigris and Euphrates. Now this is presently linked close to Iraq and these areas. So this civilization was also present parallel to Harappan civilization where the trade was also continuing from Egypt, Mesopotamia and Greek to the Harappan civilization. These were all going in parallel. But in, China, in the same way there is also a Chinese civilization created along the Huang Ho Valley. This was also most uh, flourished and well versed. So these are all the civilization parallelly those had started during the past uh, era which means uh, Bronze Age we can consider. Yeah, it is before B Bronze Age. Now we shall see friends. Now we shall see what is Harappan or Indus Valley Civilization. It belongs to the Bronze Age. Bronze Age means what? Bronze Age Civilization which means it is 2500 to 1700 BC during that period it was running next we shall see uh, the discovery who discovered this first now we shall see about discovery who discovered it in Harappa Harappa was 19 discovered in 1921 by Rai Bahadur Dayaram Sahni you remember RBD Ram Dayaram Sahni you just remember Dayaram Sahni that will be useful and next, Mohanjadaro was discovered in 1922 by Rakal Das Banerjee. Okay, friends, these are all the two person who discovered the places Harappa and Mohanjadaro. And also, we shall see here the places in the map. See, friend, here to your west end, Sutka gender is there. This is the west end. To the north end, you can see here Manda. Here it is Roper, Raki Gar, and also Banwali, Kalibangan, Harappa, Rahmadari. Now Sharo, Ganverlal, Mahanjadaro. Mahanjadaro is on the rivers of Indus, river Indus. Koti Diji, Chanhudaro. Remember this, Chanhudaro is the biggest uh, place. And next, uh, Ghazi Shah, Balakot, Amri, Alhadino. Remember also Alhadino, it is an important place. And Dolavira. Dolavira, you know, most exca excavations are found. It is close to Ranaf Kach and Sut. Uh, Surkotoda, don't confuse with Sutka gender and Surkotoda. Surkotoda is in Gujarat, Sutka gender is in 
uh, west end which means baluchistan region and now here kuntasi and lothal lothal is a important port town in harappan valley civilization these are all the places by the map i had explained also you can see the rivers indus is present here and all its tributaries jhelum chenab bravi bs satlas all the things are present here gagar hakra river is along here it is a now it is vanished gagar hakra means mostly saraswati river now it is vanished and also to your good news our scientists or archaeologist has re excavated the saraswati river where it is present and how it had flown all the details has been excavated this was a current affair recently in past i think so 3 to 4 months okay friends this is the things we must know and now we shall see chronology the harappan civilization is also divided into several phases such as early harappan phase from 3500 bc to 2600 bc and mature harappan phase which is 2600 bc to 1900 bc we mostly discuss about mature harappan period where we have most evidences to be found next late harappan phase where 1900 bc to 1400 bc okay friends now we shall see etymology how the name had come over to the harappan civilization this civilization is named after harappa which means the place they had excavated first place they had excavated they had named it as harappa so it is named as harappan civilization it is in 1920 it had been excavated okay let me tell you the story actually how this was excavated is first uh, james someone is a prince of james prince is the one person present there actually uh, british is constructing railway line while constructing railway lines these people are collecting bricks but local people those who are collecting bricks they went and they are bringing super and well baked bricks some other places while digging and constructing but they didn't understand from where they had got this brick so this britishers went and saw that because we don't have the such archaeological department like that during that period so when britishers saw that they were astonished to see that this is not a simple thing this is a older and thousands of year old era where a city had survived so they had excavated all this region this indus valley civilizations and it had come to the limelight but before that only many people had exploited the places or looted something what are the evidences and these things present it has been little vanished but still with the present evidences which we had seen here now we are seeing all the things see here image you can see how the settlements are there how beautiful they had settled in harappan and indus valley civilizations okay friends we can see other names of harappan civilization it is an indus valley civilizations and also saraswati civilization and next origin where it has been origin it is originated in mehagra south india these are the, these are all assumptions we don't know if you see that they had originated in mehagra and also with the evidence that they think that they are dravidians or they are from south india due to the influx of aryans they thought they had moved into south india this was all our assumptions but there is no any valid proof okay friends now we shall see here geographical extent from which area to which area this place is present most sites are not only on the river indus most sites are on the river saraswati which is the tributary of indus and ganga both the indus and ganga tributary is saraswati actually in the image you can see in the starting video you can see because now i had wrote something so it will be little clumsy see here dotted like is that this is a gagar hakra or saraswati river in this location it is present okay friends now see here to the west end it is sutka gender in baluchistan i already said to you using the map this is the west end and to the east end is alamgirpur in meerut actually this image is not extended if you extend it you can find it to the east and next south is ahmedabad in ahmednagar in maharashtra next we come to north north it is manda in aknur district of jammu kashmir here i had shown already to the north okay friend this is about the harappa and indus valley civilization intro now we shall see to the next one 
Harappan Indus Valley town planning how the towns they had planned how their way of living extended by seeing the image you can say before going to the class i will say by seeing the image how what are all the things we can see see here it is double floored roads are pakka which means uh, uh, straight and uh, in the shape of rectangle or straight lines and also the houses are well planned upper floor is there ground floor is there the see here what are all the people are doing there are separate rooms for the persons there is a balcony there is a ground please even present generation in this 2019 we don't have that much well versed houses for everybody here for everybody living in this harappa or indus valley civilizations the houses are much more advanced than the way we are living this is just i'm um, explaining with the images present over here now we shall see here my dear friends town where did uh, see okay now here harappan and indus valley civilization how the town planning towns were divided into upper part and upper part with citadel and lower part see here the towns will be divided into two parts the upper part will be considered as citadel and lower part will be there mostly citadel consists most important persons kings and these persons will be staying in citadel and all the others will be staying in the uh, lower part this is like us uh, we can think that uh, economic divide between the people is there but this is not even proved because there is no any caste div division among them but just based on the town settlements we can say that somebody stay in upper citadel means they have some have power money and these things next uh, society like that they are they had little divisions okay friends now we shall see the materials what are all the materials they used to build the homes and constructing everything the materials they used is called sun dried bricks which means they build they make the brick with clay and they dry it in the sun to become to make it stronger and next they used baked bricks which means they burn it in fire and bake it as a brick big baked bricks now we shall see here the buildings buildings are of three types they have private houses large public structures are present and also large houses with smaller units also present these are all the types we shall see in detail now we come here friends private houses means both single and multi room houses are present which means in the private houses you can also find single room and multi room well water reservoirs are common actually nowadays we have tank system in uh, we have uh, down to the home there is a tank below the home is the tank where municipal water you collect and push it over to the terrace and we use it but for them well versed water reservoirs are present tap is present in every home even now you can't find a tap for poor people but now but in indus valley civilization that much flourishment they had taps in every home and next a bathing area and drainings were made with baked bricks see everything is made of baked bricks and stones they had maintained bathing area and also water drainage is also cleanly purely maintained okay friends see here two story houses were common which means i had shown the image on the image you can see all the houses are looking to be two story so it is a common thing for them having a two story houses the rooms were paved with bricks and fired terracotta cakes terracotta cakes means something made of mud and this see mud and clay we can see it as terracotta next they also have smaller units of houses also present in big and the, we can see what are all the large public structure which means everybody go go there and utilize it for their purpose public how structures means everybody has right to go over there and utilize it it is such as granaries granaries means we can see that they can store the food materials and ingredients that things a public structure they had built and also uh, in citadels also we can see that uh, some uh, something they can use and all the public structures were present there in citadel these are all the things we know i had already said what is citadel okay friends now come over here roads 
their roots are straight roots i had said said through the image actually my classes will go like this i will say based on the image then i will whatever i say it will be coming as a notes also so you can watch it the both see here friends then only students can easily understand whatever we are dealing with straight roots and also grid and rectangular pattern what i had said it is perfect gridded like this so as i had shown it is perfect gridded houses are perfectly gridded as rectangular shapes and these things so it facilitate for the people to move on and commute will be much easier for them to live on and we shall see about drainage drainage they had maintained underground drainage and covered drainage even now in india there have no 50% drainage facility for every village and these things if you consider drainage is most failure in our nation because also the most diseases endemics are due to the drainages and these things even in cities where i live chennai also you can see that no drainage facilities are clear enough but the indus valley civilization made in the clear underground drainage that took covered well enough now we shall see and it is connected with rear side of the house see here drainages are not connected to the front side of the house it is connected to the rear side which means they connect to the back of it. next we shall see the indus valley civilizations agriculture and domestication this image you can see such beautiful the people had uh, having some plows and using animals to plow and also here they are rearing the uh, a final agriculture products and are carrying something on their back but you must be concentrating on that image to view over that but uh, yeah you can see this okay friends now we shall see here agriculture if you come to agriculture agriculture was practiced along the river banks see whatever the river banks they were located there they had practicing agriculture and they also indus river was inundated in these regions and also the floods were frequently happening which means annually some or other way floods even now we can see ganga is flooding uh, yearly some or other day brahmaputra is mostly flooded river you can find and also here in krishna godavari whatever the rivers you see the floods are annually happening the same thing was present in indus valley civilization period also what are all the crops they cultivated mostly the main crops they cultivated is wheat and barley and next they were also sowed in the flood plains during november and reaped that during april because those period there will be less flood so in the flood plains they plant and before the flood comes they reap the uh, whatever the agriculture they had planted and enjoy and also they are the first person in the world in the swali people are the first person in the world to con- uh, cultivate cotton cotton a greek called it as sindon remember this greek used to call it as sindon this is why we had also got sindhu valley civilization or uh, sindhu river we can say the those names why they have got is because of this cotton is called in greek as sindon so it had slowly changed into the name has been uh, formed as a etymology now we had see here what are all the other things they cultivated sesame and mustard are also cultivated by the indus valley civilization people and the channel they also were practicing channel irrigation canal irrigation channel canal means they dig like uh, straight lines and from that water will be flowing you may know you if you are not knowing just google it over okay my dear friends here domestications what are all the things they had domesticated like animals here most prominent was humped bulls was predominant which means highly found humped bulls were highly found and also they reared buffalo sheep oxen asses goats pigs etc but but dogs and cats were grown as pets see they had pets such as dogs and uh, cats okay friends now we shall see they also has for the transport they used camels and asses and donkeys for carrying the luggage that had they had and also they are well known to elephants and rhin- rhinoceros because by the images on seals that we had seen through the evidences of indus valley civilization we had come to the conclusion that they have an idea of elephants and lions but they don't have any idea of a lion such okay friends now we shall so see the society how they lived and how the lifestyle was continuing for the indus valley civilizations political organization how do that existed in indus valley civilization how the way of living and these things were possible for them there is no clear picture yet which means for political organization they had no any clear view how they lived or how the political system existed but they think that might be merchants had ruled the 
political uh, this organization which means the merchants are most dominant in the indus valley civilization here in the image you can see all the things whatever the activities is mostly business activities and merchant activities were happening in the indus valley civilizations now we shall see there is no any religious structures as per se and also there is no ruling of priests because vedic period or later vedic period has changed as ruled by priests and priests have dominated in a high level but in indus valley civilization there is no such domination but merchant domination was present there and also there is no natural inheritance in harappan civilization like now we can see the father earns all the money goes to the kid if father is a hero this uh, kid also will be hero if father is some big uh, business magnet and his kid also will be business because these are worthless people those who come over here which means not worthless but there are more worth people than them who deserve that place but they take the place because of their fathers this is called inheritance nature of inheritance so but that is not present in harappan age those who have the talent and potential they can rise above to the the place and any position such a beautiful society in harappan existed okay now we shall see recreational activities what are all the things they had been recreating we had found terracotta fi figurines which means nowadays for all the children they play we make a plastic uh, images and plastic uh, dolls to play but for them during that period terracotta wood uh, wood mostly or mud and clay clay imaged mud and clay made uh, dolls and playing varieties of fire baked earthen clay were is present toys and objects of worship also present and also they had birds dog sheep cattle and monkey shaped uh, terracotta figurines and also human figurines is also present in more number than men if you compare then men more human figurines are present okay now friends they also know yoga harappans practiced yoga it is found through the terracotta figurine where we can see the yogic postures has been portrayed there okay friends now we shall see here stringed musical instrument is also mostly present in for recreation activities we can see somewhere and find that image okay i'll see in future next we see here toys and images see here friends this is the most important thing cubical dice this was invented by indus valley civilization we can consider they were playing cubical dice and these things paintings regarding paintings one thing remember friend there is painting pottery in indus valley civilization but there is no any wall painting to be present in indus valley civilization remember this for pakka till date there is no any discovery of wall painting for the indus valley civilization every painting that we had found to be present in the pottery or such uh, vessels and these things okay friends now we shall go how the trade and transport existed they used solid wheels in harappa solid wheels means you can see here by the image i'll show here this is a solid wheel which means there is a fully made of wood and they used to bullock carts here in the image you can see here it is a bullock cart actually this is the image of wheels how it evolved first they used solid wheel then they may used this wooden wheel and next slowly wooden wheel is covered with rubber and again now uh, whatever the present day wheel what we are using which is pumped with air and flow next they also used boats for the transport of activities because river is there and sea is there so for the trade they used boats and next plank built watercraft also present for the traveling or sailing here you can see a pot making image also friends next we shall see what are all the goods raw materials that here include what are all the goods they were trading is mostly copper ores stones semi precious metals and shells these are all the things they were mostly trading and next finished products if you come to the finished products mostly metallic pots pans weapons are present and precious to semi precious stones beads pen pendants amulets this all present for them and also ornaments such as gold silver is present for them for the trade and transport all exchanges through barter system yeah now we are using money but during that period they don't have any money they just have barter system barter system 
uh, needs double instance of uh, needs which but okay that i will deal in economic classes when time comes okay friends they did not use any metallic money but there are some seals mentioning their own pride and merchants uh, significance okay friends now we shall see here how the trade networks now we know the trade has been happening how the transport happened how the goods and next we had seen how what is the methodology like battle system now we shall see with whom they traded in high level and important for the trade network if you consider they traded with afghanistan mostly trading with afghanistan and next coastal regions of persia which means nowadays iran persia means nowadays iran and also dilmun makan intermediate trade trade post which means these two trade Uh, trade posts are present while well, trading with mesopotamia so we can consider on the way there are two trade ports it is dilmun and Ma makar next we shall see northern and western india they are highly trading and mesopotamia this is a place where they trade already has shown shown in the first image itself next greek and egypt this and they are also trading with greeks and egypt see here, here this is a terracotta image in of bullock cart and a person riding over it this is the things the childhood toys like they will be playing these are all the terracotta figurines we had found out in indus valley civilizations okay now friends we shall see the occupation now i have shown this here someone is doing pottery this is also some kind of occupations and here the you trading and also carts is present bullock cart is present and a camel is present for traveling and also boat is present and they are trading and here The, we can see the image where uh, different jewelries is present so these are all the different types of occupations they had been doing during the indus valley civilization now we shall see in detail for the occupation we can see they were making seal making shell works boat making man's masonry which means the building activities and ornament making i had shown here ornaments and pottery making to your left i had shown through the image next terracotta figurine spinning and weaving these are all the things that are present as a occupational activ activities for indus valley people and next we come to here pottery what is pottery pottery means the wheel made pottery is mostly dominant here you can see the wheel made pottery and next still they also practiced hand made pottery because they are not only using wheel made they are also using hand made they also had designs like trees circles were most common in that pottery as i said painting was present in pottery only so they used to have different types of designs over there next we shall see here ornaments if you come to the ornaments long barrel shaped corneal beads here you can see corneal beads and this ones are highly dominant and harappan gold is not that much bright because the silver content is high in it gold and silver jewelry we can find and steatite and brasilite and amulets are highly dominant next we come to the raw materials if you come to the raw materials present over there and from where they collect this raw materials or minerals from which region they get it if you consider it is from copper you can see till now we are getting copper for our nation or india from k3 mines in rajasthan this is one of the important current affairs you must be remember not current affairs static gk you must be remembering k3 mines is famous for the copper making a copper minerals and next cherth blade are found in rohiri hills of sindh and carnelian beads is found in gujarat and sindh also we can see the lead and mostly found in south india from south india also they traded lead lapis lazuli you can see this my dear friends ratik roshan in a movie called mahanjad aro he used to collect lapis lazuli a blue color stones if you want to watch it you can watch the movie movie it is mostly collected from kashmir and afghanistan region turquoise and jade is from central asia and iran amethyst is mostly collected from maharashtra agate chalcedem doni and carnelian these are all found in saurashtra region region as a raw material this is where they collected the raw materials and traded in the indus valley civilization which is a most fast world's urban center okay friends now we shall move on to the next topics what is the indus valley civilization people's invention tools and measurement systems we shall see here friends the you, you can see the scale was invented by indus valley people they invented dies they invented buttons and also they invented or do they say here dental drills and also weighings they had invented 
we shall see here they know the dental drill bow drill button furnace levy ru ru ruler step well these are all the things that they had invented now we shall see the tools they were using copper was mined from k3 mines copper mines and rajasthan copper and bronze tools were used next axes chisels arrow heads spear heads knives saw razors fish hooks these are all present in them one more thing you must remember friend there is no evidence of iron to be found in indus valley civilization two things remember my dear friends lion was not much known to the indus valley people and the same way iron usage is also not found in indus valley civilization people so next if you come here large number of copper tools is found in gunjeria yeah okay next measurement system was also most prominent during the the period if you consider it cubical and spherical units were more made of chert and jasper and agate decimal system also they followed so this thing you must be remember multiples of 16 was the weights usage these questions may be asked in upsc and whatever the exam or you write they ask how multiples of 16 16 multiples of measurement of weights has been used 16 chat tank which means uh, ser it is a measurement system 16 anas equal to 1 rupee that they followed during their period even now we are following the same system uh, the multiple system next if you come here smallest division marked on an ivory scale is found in see in the ivory scale only they had marked uh, divisions that only i said first primarily scale was also invented by them they also found this evidence in lothal and approximately its length is 1.704 mm and small divisions ever has been made of bronze age okay before there is no any recorded evidence of measuring with the scale and these things but the first evidence we had got is it from the indus valley civilizations okay friends now we shall see about the religion how do they followed and what are all the things they worshiped in uh, indus valley civilizations if you come to the religion evidences as you seen that there is no religion evidences as per se but there are evidences of some uh, um, worship in god okay we shall see here mother goddess actually my friend here image i had provided i'll uh, explain this image further now worship of mother goddess was found a terracotta figurine of semi nude figurines are found of shakti or mother goddess and next there is also depicting of uh, earth with mother goddess where the plant grow from her womb like that evidences are found and also people offered burnt and incensed before her which means they also worshiped the mother goddess and given something burning like it means lighting and these things if you want this experience these things if you understand hindi the beautiful video, uh, movie will be mahanja daro but you must be after watching my video you must watch that video then only you will be uh, uh, liking that Ah, uh, what are the places allocated and everything? If you watch directly, you won't watch the movie. You watch the hero heroines. Okay, friends. Now we shall see here Pasupati. Worship of Pasupati. Pasupati is an important person. They they go uh, take it as a he is the face of male god. He has three faces in the worship. See here, I will show this here. This is a front face. This is other face. This is other face. So this is evident that he has multiple faces. He is seated in a yogic posture see here padmasana he had put over here and sitting in a yogic posture this is the evidence we got half cut over and next it is surrounded by rhino and buffalo to the right see he is turning outside this is a rhino and this is buffalo to his right to his right and next elephant and tiger is present to the left here you can say this is elephant to the left and this is a lion to his left and also two deer standing under the throne here you can see one deer here one deer is present but it has vanished by the time okay and also if you want to ask me here there is a, a image of a snake and here it is like fish and there are many things and also here something like script which is not 
encrypt uh, deciphered okay friends now we shall see they also worship tree which tree they worshiped in high level is people tree is the most sacred thing they worshiped it is engraved in most seals and these animals if you come to the animals they also worshiped bull buffalo tiger and humped bull was most prevalent during that period mythical animals means they had many mythical animals which means the uh, their creative skills we can say that a bull with horn with human face and also here you can see pasupati has horns like that a human has horns he has hoofs and he has tail and also three headed chimera which means three headed persons were their most perceptions and also human faced goat is also present as their ideology and next semi human semi bovine creatures which means semi human will be the semi ni cattle body will be the like that half half in that manner they have been creating many uh, worshiping and mythical animals they have been having okay friends which means they are collaborating and interlinking with animals next there is no special worship of temple as such this thing you must remember friend as now we are maintaining temples and these things they didn't worship any temple as per se there is also a symbolic representation of phallus which means linga male sex organ and vulva yoni female sex organ worship so male and female sex organs are also worshiped during that period faith in magic charms and sacrifices they trusted in magic charms and sacrifices they used amulets and magics and charms and also they had seals of figurines of men and animal sacrificing is also found remember this there are seals and figurines where men and animals has been sacrificing there are fire altars is friend and are uh, fire altar altars are an earth in banwali lothal and kalibangan and next if you come there is burials burials are of different types it is circular burials rectangular burials and also cremation was also practiced during this their period megalith burials were found in the regions of surkot tada and dolavira remember this megalith megalith burials are found in surkot tada and dolavira and earthen pots and urns and ornaments and food grains were also buried with the dead people all together Okay friends now we shall see belief in life after death yes they believed that if a person die there is a life after his death also so what is the evidences we got so that we can see that they had believed in the life after death if you see here they also disposed the death by cremation and also they buried them in household pottery ornaments and articles and daily use preserved their ashes and buried in a clay urns okay friends i think i have two more slides to cover over here now we shall see the script harappan and indus valley civilization actually i am getting bit tired continuously speaking okay friends harappan and indus valley civilization scripts what are all the scripts they followed indus script and writing styles they followed we shall see indus scripts we can see they had inscribed where all these scripts are inscribed by them mostly these are images actually i show here here is a one horn one horn something animal type opa which means it's uh, um, top most you can see here something uh, image or diagrammatic script is given still we did not decipher we don't understand what they had meant to say here also i had put over some uh, scripts that are present over there and also what are all the things they inscribed on if you consider seals they inscribed in seals to identify the private properties and also inscribe the pictures of one horned bull and bull buffalo tiger rhinoceros goats elephants and everything they had been inscribing camel was all was not depicted in the seals camels are present there but there is no depiction of the camel in the seals and also where are all the script are in, inscribed in bones they inscribed ivory they inscribed copper plates they had inscribed and also in pottery also they had inscribed but still now this indus valley script is not deciphered we don't know what they are saying in true sense and also they did not write long inscription they see here in the seal they write small inscription so they don't write scripts like big stories like that they didn't write anything they were writing as a small inscriptions and scripts were mostly pictographic as i shown here this is in the shape of fish so pictographic writings were most famous and there is no connection of the scripts with west asia 
as they were trading with west asia but there is no any connection with the script that they followed and script is not alphabetical in order and we shall see here the symbols of fishes were depicted predominantly that is the thing i said mostly the pictography the symbols of fishes is most predominant by them now we shall see the writing style of them they write in with bostrophedon what is bostrophedon now before that i'll say the two forms of writings that were present now we see the brahmi script if you write from left to right from left side to right side you are writing something like hindi tamil telugu english whatever you write it is brahmi script right? left to right we go on but uh, there is karosthi script this is brahmi script left to right is brahmi script but karosthi script is urdu do you see urdu and arabic writing they start from the left end of the page and they move on sorry right end of the page and they move on to the left side it is karosthi but the indus valley civilization now followed it is called bostrophedon which means the first line they write from uh, first line they write from right to left and again next they write from left to right so the alternative lines this is the one bostrophedon means every line they will be changing first they write from uh, right to left and again next line will be left to right so the alternative lines will be opposite direction this is the way they write this is called bostrophedon form of writing this is by indus harappan or indus valley civilization script all the details we had known now if you come to the decline of indus valley civilizations why this indus valley civilization declined here you can see the people has died and skeletons are found around the bricks and here most of thing is flooded or vanished this is the sites of indus valley civilization has been vanished there are more evidence more uh, assumptions and evidences what are all the things that led to the decline of indus valley civilization we can see it in clear we shall see the natural causes if you come to the natural causes it is due to the decrease in fertility of soil due to salinity actually a fertility losses the agriculture dependent people surely will leave that place and search for the fertile places they thought that ganga and brahmaputra regions and ganga plains have been more uh, alluvial and more beneficial so after losing the fertility in this region they moved on to that this was the their idea and also they thought that shift of river channels was their assumption and also there is on more assumptions that the rivers that they are staying is dried up for example now we don't have any evidence of saraswati river is present which means that river is dried off so the most settlements are around the saraswati river so automatically when the river dried off they must move on to the next any other further places for this survival and next there is also natural causes like floods and droughts may be the reasons and also they said that it is mostly urbanized society If high urbanization means the deforestation let me tell you one thing friends today we are living in 2019 our present end will be similar to the ivc indus valley civilization how it ended by the natural causes and deforestation the same thing will be our end they are more urbanized and more traditionalized and more um, well versed cities than us during 2000 years ago but still they vanished the same thing will be happening to us if you are not protecting our nature okay friends and also one more reason is that indus valley civilization is declined due to the migration of indo aryans that was also, that was also a uh, reason and also they said that actually the decline in trade with egypt and most mesopotamia because this is a trade city a trade is most dominant so automatically the trade is uh, decreasing they will be moving to the other places so this will be the this may be also the reason and also there is a major hypothesis is that that john marshall said that he is one of the first person to discover indus valley civilization he said that environment degradation is a primary reason and mortimer wheeler is a person who said that aryan invasion is the main reason for the decline of indus valley civilization okay friends this is what we must know about indus valley civilization in detail we had seen okay thanks thanks for your patience and watching our channel spv education world together we create a better world kindly like share and subscribe to our channel if you are interested in contributing you can also contribute i had given the paytm link uh, not only link this paytm number okay you can donate friends this is for the development of our education world so that it make bad benefit to rural students or friends kindly inform your friends and family and you are my trump card you are the students those who watch you are my power and everything 
for you i will do anything for classes everything okay friends and also soon i will make the same video in tamil telugu and hindi but it takes time for me that is the thing if you don't i can make a team otherwise i am the person i'll be starting slowly and running this thank you thank you thank you signing off yours sp rajan